All barricades erected. Area locked down. Hello everyone, hello the directors of gaming, this is Cashmon87, and I'm gonna bring you some Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay. This is like my second game on PC, so I had some pretty bad parts, but I cut them out in the editing, so I hope you guys enjoy the video, this is pretty short. Uh, today with me I have my friend Recalculate. Hello. And we're gonna talk about the next generation consoles and what we want to see. So, Recalculate. Um... Well, I really want to see the PS3, the PS4, sorry, go with um, customizable parts. That's my main thing because I'm mainly PC. But if consoles could get customizable parts, I'd probably switch. Honestly, and I don't know if it's like a switching point, but it, it would be really good for the consoles because what's happening now is they're trying to make the lifespan of consoles like seven to ten years, and you can't really upgrade it, so the game quality is going to look the same the entire time around. So it's it's really not good. And how would they do the upgradable parts? Like, how would that even work? I don't know, probably like a computer. I mean, they use graphics cards and stuff. They just have to be able to upgrade, you know? Yeah. And I'd like to see that. Because with PC, you can just run so much higher than consoles can. So what you're saying is, like, if, you, if I had a PlayStation 4, um, and the games were made for the PlayStation 4 specs, I would be able to upgrade the PlayStation 4 specs, and then... Play yeah. a higher setting. Yeah, I haven't heard anything from Xbox like that, so that's why I'm not really talking about them. <laughs> PlayStation's about the only one that even has a theory of people that say they might do that. Yeah, because uh, along with you, I've also heard some things about the um, like the progression of that with adding customizable parts. Uh, so, what do you think about the next generation consoles not having a disc drive? That everything's going to be download based. I think that kind of sucks, honestly, because you won't be able to, like, go over to a friend's house with a game and play together. They yeah. have to come over to your house, or you have to take your console. Yeah, that does kind of suck a little bit, but at the same time, there's a lot of perks to it, because let's say your, um, let's say your PlayStation breaks, and let's say it has a disc in it, and you can't even get the disc out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's happened before. I've had that happen to two of my old PlayStation 2s. And I've lost two games like that before that were disc-based. Yeah. And and there really is nothing better than coming home with the smell of a new disc. <laughs> that's just, that's always nice. Um, uh, but some of the other things that I heard that they're going to add with the next consoles is uh, the cloud gaming, but at the same time, they're going to try to make it so it's like a service that you have to pay for. And do you really think that like the PlayStation 4 should really have a service that you pay for similar to Xbox? Um, if it's not forced, and you can still go out and buy your games, then that's, I'm fine with that. I mean, if they want to make extra money, then they want to make extra money. But see, I currently think, and I know that you haven't really played on PlayStation 3 that much, I don't know if you have at all, but... A little bit. I don't think that the quality of the PlayStation Network right now is even good enough to charge for it. Yeah, that's very true. We don't have cross-game chat. The PlayStation Store really is just garbage the services that they offer we're yeah. always having updates and connection problems so I don't I think if they're gonna make it so that they charge for the service that it needs to be at least up to par with the Xbox 360 or better yeah because right now it is equivalent to a toaster <laughs> but I do think that they need to have both like an optional kind of thing yeah, that is, that is true. Um, but, like, what about the Xbox? What if they actually make it so their service is free? Would that be, like, a switching point? No. No, you don't think so? Unless you can still upgrade, because even with the next-gen consoles, I'm sure PC will be able to run better. If you right. can't upgrade at default, it'll probably be better. Well, right now we are actually a few seconds over the commentary, so this was actually pretty short just because I cut out some of the gameplay. But thank you guys so much for watching. Um, we calculate. Thank you for coming on the show. And see you guys later.